happens to women of a certain age? For some, it's kids. And for others, it's a career. Yeah, somewhere between responsibility and obligation, we put ourselves on the back burner. We all do it. It's time now, though, to get our sexy back. Joining us now is Kim Jacobs, host of The Daily Balance with Kim Jacobs, and mother of five who definitely has her sexy back for sure. Kim, help yeah. us. How do we get it back? I mean, or discover it for the first time? Maybe. Yeah, for some of us, discover it for the first time. Well, Colleen and Ramona, guess what? The thing is, people think sometimes when it comes to sexiness that it's about their shape or their size or their height or their weight. And, and to me, none of that matters because everyone has some type of sex appeal, something that's about them that's just that thing that pops because that's who you are. Uh -huh. And it's a certain sex appeal. In my opinion, it's more of a mindset or an attitude that a person has. Has. You're okay. right, though. People do get caught up in, oh, if you know, if I could lose 15 pounds, yeah, or if I were size two. Yeah. Yes, people are very stuck on that. But you're yeah. here to tell us that that's not the case. That Whatever not size you are, embrace yourself and find that spark in you. That's right. I mean, like I was here last week, and as you can see, I have a different hairdo. So sure. I mean, just putting my same hair in a different angle in a different direction. I had my hair stylist just put some pins and prop it to the side just to give it a nice different look. So is that? You know, it's one of those motivators that can help us rediscover that sexy. To me, just it getting is. Just a different hairdo. Just having a different hairdo. And, you know, celebrities, celebrities literally yeah. have different hairdos all the time. So if you really don't know what is a nice hairstyle to have, you can always just look in magazines or check out the news and look and see what the latest and the greatest is because they're always on the cutting edge. Look at Colleen. Oh, I mean, yeah. look at the latest and the greatest. No. <laughs> well, a good blow dry will do wonders for your self esteem, though, I have to say. I am that shallow, really. Okay, you also say make your yourself up in the morning. Take the time to put yes. on a little lipstick and a little mascara. It can be just some lip gloss. If you have children, like I have five children, I'm not always made up like this. Mm -hmm. You can do some basic things just Even to make yourself feel good. Even if you're just going to Target? Just to go to Target, you still should look nice and make sure that your image is, is coming through as to represent who you are. Uh -huh. And so that's a few things that I definitely think are helpful. And then as you see here, I have quite a few goodies and I can talk about those when you're ready. Oh, well, Ooh. sure. Well, let's just do it. Kim. This actually came from a local store in Concord called Adam and Eve okay. and they donated these for me to share with you and this is incredible because it's just literally a bustier is I mean you can just put a, a corset that you can put on now this one isn't my size but you can definitely put it on and you can wear this on, under your regular clothing or you can wear this you know. Wear that under my regular <laughs> clothes. Some other time oh, if that you will want. help you with the Wednesday morning blues, though. You don't though. have to be outwardly sexy. No, you please. can wear something sexy underneath that only Ramona. you know about. I'm so glad you said that. Now, women, for real, I don't even know which camera you want me to look at to say this, <laughs> but to the world that's viewing this, please make sure that if you're wearing undergarments that are sexy, which they should be sexy, they should not be holy old underwear, please make sure that you do not show them to the world. We don't want them exposed <laughs> to the world. That's your information <laughs> and sometimes it's too much information when it's popping up from under there. It is and also yeah. though you say if, if they're those old underwear you know the ones that are not cute you right. say get rid of them. Get rid of them. That that can build your self-esteem just by buying some new pretty pretty panties. Uh -huh. You know. I have Nana. Nana granny panties. I have, yes, I have Nana panties because they're comfy. Yeah. They're totally comfy. Well, we I like all, all the coverage. Our, yeah. I love comfort too so we have our nice you know panties that feel good but then when you're trying to get your sexy back you want to establish something else okay another one of your tips take a dance class with a friend I take Zumba and that's so much fun to me because you feel like you're out there you know in this whole different island or something but people take Latin hip-hop people take pole dancing I have a friend that takes pole dancing I'm like whoa -hoo! and that's really out there her husband watches all of the children so she can go he's like go 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 because that was my next question for the mom I know you have a lot of children, kids. 12 and under, yes. So the mom who says, I don't have time for sexy, mm -hmm. what do you tell her? I say make time for sexy because especially if you're married, if you don't make time for sexy, that's a very unfortunate thing because your husband wants sexy mm -hmm. sometimes. So have a candlelight dinner. I mean, this right here is just an actual candle that melts into oil and then you can use it as massage oil. Ooh. So not anything that goes too far over. And this is a, a rose and, and, and each petal it actually says something for you to do, like oh, let me see. scalp massage. Oh, boy. And it's just like some little fun games that are to-dos for you and your spouse. What's oh. that one say? I noticed uh, you didn't read all of them now. This one says rub, <laughs> neck. rub the neck. Okay. 
rub temples yeah. that I can read. Don't read too yeah, many some of these some are of those are private time. I'm never going to get rid of this rash. It's just going to be here for the rest of the hour. So that's just a nice simple game that you can play. And then this is edible edible baby powder and it's raspberry and so all different types of you things. know what though I think one of the most important things that you can do to get your sexy back and this is what you say too is take control of your thoughts and that's probably more than anything yes. the best thing that you can do just yes. tell yourself yeah mom's got it going on and you'll start to feel like you do that's right I mean look in the mirror and have a conversation with yourself and say you know what I think I'm looking pretty good today I'm good enough and darn it I'm sexy enough yes there you go <laughs> well, if anyone else believes it or not it's an internal thing and that's your yeah, affirmation for the day yeah, yeah don't forget that we want to hear your ideas for getting your sexy back yes. Facebook us and we might share some of your ideas on the show and don't forget you can see Kim's show the daily balance with Kim Jacobs you can see it on WTVI Saturdays at 5 p.m. and you can also see her on the Word Network every Monday morning at 7.30. And we should mention you're a pastor's wife, too, and oh, you're boy. talking about all this stuff. So, <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's, it's good well, for women to like, embrace this. He likes coffee, and there's this new coffee called Magic Power Coffee. So I haven't tried it yet, but it's some kind of coffee that's. Call it at the pastor. <laughs> but you know who broke into his ass when he heard else. you say, <laughs> you know, my husband does like, you know, he's at home going, oh, right, but Jesus. he's a person. When she went into Adam and Eve, yeah, I know. <laughs>